Let's look at how this benefits your home loan borrowing capacity with the Albanese government proposing to wipe $3 billion in student debt in tomorrow's budget that will be released. Let's take a look. By the way, before I digress, this is not an ingenious plan hatched by the Labour government. No, it's a copy and paste move by the Labour government. They are simply copying a very popular campaign that is run by the Biden government simply to attract more votes because... Because the November election is coming up and he needs votes to beat Mr. Trump. I can tell you right now, it's a poorly executed copy and paste. There's nothing wiped out. It's not like... For example, you have a lottery system and for example, 13 million people have student loans and they pick out 3 million people. And then from, for example, choosing one person, they might have a $50,000 law degree, hex debt. And then the government goes, wipe it out, it's now zero. That is not the case, guys. When you see that in tomorrow's budget or there's headlines about, oh, you know, student debt, $3 billion will be wiped out. That is not the freaking case in the budget. This is what's going to happen. So pay attention to this table, right? Because this is the propaganda being used by the government to let you guys think, oh my God, the government's doing so much great stuff to ease the cost of living. BS. Because look at this. This is the table they use as of the 30th of June 2023, which this policy only applies to. So for those who got a student loan before that sucked in, right? So $15,000 to $130,000, right? Do you remember 1st of June 2023, that last financial year, when the CBI index rose to 7.1% and all these loans got like yanked up to a higher degree where the, the loan amount you own just went, right? And now look at this table, right? It says total estimate credit for 2023 and 2024, which means you had a hex debt uh, from, you know, uh, 1st of June 2022. It was like, you know, like this. And then it went up because they hiked it up. And then right now, due to a proposal to the budget, which hasn't been passed by legislation, they just bring it back down. How's that wiping it out? If you read the government website, it says due to this uh, a revolutionary plan to cut hex debt, it says someone with an average help debt of $26,500 will, uh, will have about $1,200 wiped out from their outstanding home loans debt. Mate, you wiped that fucking shit off, mate. You increased it and then put it back down and you go, mate, I, I wiped it out. It's like someone comes to your house a year ago, fucks your wife, and you see them a year later and you go, hey mate, you fucked my wife, I'm gonna smash ya. He's like, no I didn't, I unfucked her. And you're like, how the F does that work mate? And he's like, mate, just go to the government's website and go to this calculator, click here. It sounds really helpful and sounds very remorseful, so you click on the website, he says the government is proposing to change to reduce the indexation that is applied to your help debt, which means we effed you, but we're just un-effing you back. Because you're buying into the propaganda, oh, you know, they're helping us ease with the cost of living. You go down to the page, you enter your hex debt to see how much money do I get back in credits. If you're like most of the people that have hex and contact me through TikTok to find out their home loan borrowing capacity, you might enter an average hex debt of $50,000. The system calculator spits out, all right, estimated tax credit is 1820, and then for 2024 is 425, and then it goes, Wow, this is how much you get credit back, $2,245. Then you sit there in silence whilst you look at the results and let the maths do its mathing. And then you just compute to a final conclusion. I just got unfucked by the government. Am I just not grateful that I'm not welcoming this news? I mean, how is this technically quote unquote wipe or the action word of wiping my debt? I still have a $50,000 hex debt. If you're wondering how does this affect your borrowing capacity, your home loan borrowing capacity, fuck off, nothing, right? It's not wiped out. It's like a small dent to your massive hex. And other brokers and bankers can chime in. In the home loan world, you either pay it all off, which has a massive difference to your borrowing power by fifty dollars to $100,000, or it's not paid. You pay it by bits and bits and pieces. Doesn't matter, the bank doesn't care. So my overall opinion about this policy, eh, eh, I just got unfucked. That's literally what I got. I got unfucked by this policy. Jump in the comments, let me know what you think.